What's up guys, so we're shooting a Western film and I wanna bring you guys behind the scenes on our second Crater production. Let's go. So most of you guys are wondering like, why are they doing this production and who is Crater? And I figured I would let Chris, my buddy, cause He's also from Canada and I'm so excited that we finally get to work yeah, together ahead, on this. Yeah. And this is all part of the whole Crater journey. So maybe you can explain what this is all about. Mm -hmm. This is all your, your idea and your doing, but this is a new way to work with brands. So everyone's used to the traditional method of us sitting in front of the camera and just talking about camera spec sheets or whatever. This allows us to test and use gear from brands that are sponsoring this production to make it possible and use it in the real world and then show you guys what's possible. But at the same time, we're all here, we're all creators, and we're able to work together, do things that we love. Some of the guys are on set actually working, some of us are shooting behind the scenes like me, but it just allows us to be in this environment, work with the brands in a completely different way that no one else has really done yet. And also too, I think it's a lot of fun where we get to also be in this playground together, yeah. and we're all friends, so yep. it's like, uh, it's almost like it's a win-win situation for, for the sure. creator and also for the brand. And a, and a production like this is so expensive that like, I couldn't fund it personally. Are you allowed or, to say the budget? Yeah, go ahead. It's over a hundred thousand, right? Yes, yeah, over a hundred thousand to do this, and this is all possible from all the brands that sponsored this short film, and at the same time, we're able to make so much content with it. So, okay, anyway, yeah. Chris does all the behind the scenes from this production. Check out his video; it's gonna be pretty epic. We wanted to shoot this film with one of the best cameras available today, the Ari Alexa Mini LF, which I wanna give a huge thanks to Bokeh Rentals for letting us borrow one for this film. Now what's exciting about this production is that we're also using the brand new Lumix GH7. Now this is an interesting setup because Lumix has partnered with Ari to be able to give us Ari Log C3, like this is like an industry first. We've never had a hybrid mirrorless camera with any Ari Log profile. Now this is awesome because since we're using this camera, we can use this as a B cam. So a lot of times when you're using a camera that's not the same as a manufacturer, you have different log profiles. So you have to do like this color space transform. So this is gonna give you a very similar workflow if you're using an Ari camera. Now, another thing about the GH7, which is new, now we're not using autofocus lenses for this production, obviously. Uh, we're using the Atlas Mercury lenses, which are some of my favorite lenses. We've used them in the past, and a big, huge shout out to Atlas for sending these out for us to borrow in the shoot. If you do use autofocus lenses, in fact, I have a GH6, this has now phase detection which is awesome. I'm gonna try that out. I'll actually probably do a future video on that. So that's something new and exciting on the GH7 also. Now, if you are interested in getting that Ari Log C3 into the GH7, they will sell it as an upgrade, so you'll have to buy the license. I don't have pricing or information. I believe it's going to be, from what I've heard, about like $200. So just keep that in mind. Now for this film, I was actually one of the first AC along with Adam Cramsley and Brandon Peterson. Now this was my first time being a first AC and not gonna lie, I was actually pretty nervous, but I was really confident because we had a very reliable wireless video transmission system. For this production, we've been using the Hollyland system, the Pyro 4S. Now we do have three cameras and we have four receivers because we have three of them here because of all the camera fees, but we also have one for our other video village that we have set up, or even myself, we're pulling focus. Now, one of the new products of Hollyland that they sent over is this brand new monitor. Now, let me show you how easy it is. I really love this monitor because this monitor is a transmitter or receiver. You can set it up either way, but look how easy it is. Like their menu system is so simple. One of my favorite features, if I go here to wireless, is I can set the mode here. So you can see here, transmitter, we have this hooked up to the Ari Alexa Mini LF, or if I wanna set this to a receiver, now, here's the cool thing. Right now it's set to smooth mode, okay? Because we're gonna be pulling focus, so I wanna make sure that it's smooth. If I was sending this to like, for example, a Video Village, um, I would set it to high quality. So like higher quality, obviously it's gonna be something like hair and makeup, uh, production, like director, like they want a higher quality image because they don't need to have 
fa like less latency like us where I'm pulling full because I need to have the fastest transmission. But yeah, Hollyland hooked us up with this. They also have the SolidCom headsets, um, which you know we've been using. They've been great. I've used them in previous productions. They're freaking awesome. And again, huge shout out to them for sending all this gear out. So I want to show you guys our GH7 rig build here because I think it looks awesome. So we'll start from the front and we're using the Condor Blue map box. This is the new map box with Element ND filters. I've been using their filters for such a long time. They're freaking awesome. For lenses, as I mentioned earlier, we are using the Atlas Mercury lenses. Beautiful lenses, love the character. Fully rigged Condor Blue uh, setup here that we have. Funny enough, this is the GH6 cage. So if you have a GH6 and you plan to upgrade to the GH7, and you have an existing cage, it'll work flawlessly, no problem. We are using their SSD top handle, so we're actually recording everything into this SanDisk SSD, which is awesome, because then for DIT, it just makes it a lot easier. For monitor, we're using a seven inch Shinobi from Atomos, and of course, we have our Hollyland transmission system. For focus, we're using the small rig follow focus. I've done a video on this, it's great. DD time code, we're using the Condor Blue battery V-mount plate and Anton Bauer batteries. This little setup here is pretty, oh, I think we gotta go, so let's go. I just wanna say something, dude. I've been watching you on YouTube forever. By the way, if you don't know Brady, what is wrong with you? This man right here, I've said, I think I might've said this before in our last shoot, is the one of the hardest working dudes. Earlier today, you were talking with the team and like, explaining your whole lighting methodology. And that was exciting, man, because like we see you two from a different perspective uh -huh. and like seeing you at work, like he transforms into a whole different person. Let's talk about lighting. What are you doing here? Because well, it was exciting to see it, you like- It's a Western, so we got hard sunlight, hard light coming through the windows. And that's a lot of the motivation for it. Uh, I took a lot of motivation from say Handmaid's Tale, a lot of bright, they've got like 20K tungstens coming through windows. We don't have that, but a lot of bright, hard light majority of what we're using is Nanlite and one Nanlux as well. So it's Nanlite all in here with some Pavo Slims mainly lighting up the interior. And then we've got um, the Nanlux 2400. The, yeah, nothing is a beast. And that's that's a beast. It's it's bright. It's We've got it set to like 4500 right now. It's punching in. It's doing everything we need it to do to give us a shaft of light. All right, guys, when you're working on these bigger productions, obviously it's not like YouTube where you have like a little light and maybe a bounce. Like it takes a lot more. You got, you know, C-stands, a lot of grip equipment. And my buddy Chad here, which we have actually done a lot of films on the channel. Uh, he owns Blackstone Entertainment. I want you to give us kind of like, talk about more behind the scenes, like what you do, sure. do whatever. Okay. Talk about yourself, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, um, so we have a rental house. Uh, we specialize in grip and lighting. And basically where we are in the market is we do one ton and three ton, like complete packages. So like, say you, you're like, hey, I got a film here. Where do you start, right? So you gotta at least have like some kind of base package. We provided a four ton, uh, like combo truck. Mm -hmm. And then uh, because it's a NAM light shoot, we brought a, a 1200D and a 2400B. And uh, so those are actually playing a lot today with uh, like the light coming through the windows. Ooh, one of the fun things about this production is that we've been using two cyber trucks to pretty much power everything. So we've been using my cyber truck and also Lucas's Condor Blue cyber truck. It's pretty much handled everything. I'm shocked with like how little battery drain there is. I mean, it has a giant 123 kilowatt hour battery. So yeah. Cybertruck is a major win for production. So Evan is flexing his editing skills here because I gave him access to my audio account. So all of the music that you're hearing in this video are brought to you by audio who is also one of the production sponsors. So I hope you guys enjoyed this behind the scenes look at our upcoming short film, No Good Legend. I've created a playlist from all of the creators that were on set, so make sure to give those a watch. Also, if you plan to buy any gear, make sure you use our B&H Photo links down below in the description as they do help support our channel. My name is Armando. Thanks again for watching and you will catch me in the next one. Adios.